Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Building Big with City Skylines episode 50. I'm an Igmeus and today we're, we're putting our first district stamp to the test. We've got an uh, asset that we made. It's classed as an intersection that we're going to use to make isolated districts so that we can control what's going on in those districts and we don't get caught in that tug of war between education and industry kind of competing for one another's attention. Before we get into that, I want to show you some of the changes that I've made since the last episode. Uh, it's been a lot, but it's still interesting that we went from uh, about 11,000 population up to a maximum of 21,000 and then dropped back down to where we're at now, which is 18,310. And yet the city is smaller in size. Its footprint on the land is smaller than it was at the end of the last episode. Now the easiest way to illustrate that is if we take a look at this area up in here, these all used to be residential zoned areas and then we had more uh, areas like this with the, the rectangles kind of up over here and two of the rectangles were zoned for residential and they were built and everyone was living there and they were happy and the rest had been unzoned or not unzoned, I hadn't zoned them yet because we were kind of going with the demand now they're all cleared out and the population has shifted from these low density residential areas here to high density residential areas which comprise the entirety of the city now. All of the city's residential areas are high density and that is basically the largest cause of the shrinkage in the city that we saw and I couldn't be happier because the whole idea here is we didn't want this part of the city to be uh, very very large. This was just what we needed to get the city up and running. And now that we have it up and running, the smaller it is, the better. I would suspect if we, if this works and we do it right, we're going to be able to get rid of most of this industrial area up in here as well. So that's kind of neat. I ran a highway. You can see a, a two-lane uh, highway or opposing lane highway from this end of the city to this end of the city because people really wanted to use it. You can see uh, when we let it go, there, there's quite a lot of traffic on this highway. And without this... Trying to send the traffic through areas like this, you see all the intersections and stuff, you see all the buses still running their routes. There's there's nobody left to pick up, but they're still very dutifully running their routes. Uh, it, this was kind of necessary, this highway, to cut down on the congestion that we were experiencing, particularly around this area here. I also did a pair of bypasses. You can see here, the, the road comes in, we've got the traffic circle, you can come up here and turn off this way or you can go right past it and you can turn off this way this will lose its kind of benefit fairly quickly I think once we get rid of this area up here because that's part of one of the goals is if we're gonna make this as small as possible we don't need this road up here going nowhere uh, we'll be able to get rid of this long road here and all these little ones in between and just have the highway running along the city that way and hopefully save a little bit of space so that's the idea. I put in a bunch of incinerators down here because we were having garbage problems in this side of the city. People weren't getting their garbage picked up on time. They're getting pretty cranky about that. We've placed uh, some unique buildings. We've got the Mall of Moderation here uh, and there's a couple other unique buildings elsewhere throughout the city. We placed things like the hospital. We've got a hospital for our city and things like that. We unlocked solar power which was, oh what a relief to get the solar power so that we can place it and get rid of that massive cluster of wind turbines. So this basically replaced those with power to spare. And uh, as soon as we unlocked it, that was like my priority in life was to get that placed. You can see down here we're having uh, some minor issues with uh, businesses not having enough workers. And again, this is because we placed a university so that we could train people to work in the high density commercial areas. And that means that they're uh, too educated to work in the industrial areas and we're fine with that. This is specifically what this whole idea of the isolated districts uh, was uh, conceived to address. Now, our main issue, our first issue, is deciding where to place the first of these districts. It has to have access to a train. It, has a, it does not have to have access to a highway or any other road connection whatsoever. And it's got to have uh, 
sort of, I want to be careful about where we place it to make sure that we're not just kind of blopping it in the middle of nowhere and then we've got massive amounts of unused space around it because we can't fit anything. So we're going to pause it because our demand is going to go all wonky while we get this sorted out. So here's the train. I bought this piece of land here. This is the train access, external uh, connections so that we can get uh, some trains in. Realistically, the trains themselves should be running on an isolated loop as well, all just within our city and not connected to this. But for the time being, we can connect it to the external access and then we can uh, disconnect it later if we really need to. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this and like this and this is the asset. Uh, you can see it's a circle with a bunch of stuff going on in the middle. If we could put it in here, that would be like ideal, but it's way too big. It's not cheap to, to place. It's almost $43,000, but that's okay because it's a lot of roads and a lot of crazy stuff. And I'm almost thinking that uh, up here-ish is sort of a good place to put it. The thing is, I want to keep in mind where the residential areas are going to be, where the industrial areas are going to be with this particular design, so that we're not putting residential areas right next to a highway where they're going to be unhappy about the noise pollution. But I think if we put the industrial around the outside, that's probably uh, not going to create too much pollution. I think we have to put the industrial to the inside and then build the commercial around that and then the residential around that. So we don't want it directly next to um, this highway so what we can do is let's get rid of this highway just as we were uh, talking about doing all these vehicles are suddenly gonna find themselves in a big grassy field wondering what the hell what happened to the road they were just driving on that's the price of progress so we'll get rid of that uh, we'll keep that because that's kind of useful we'll get rid of these guys and we don't want that, we want this. There. Eh, not my best work. <laughs> Just gonna smooth that out a little bit. Let's try it like this. Without the bulldozer. Uh, like so. And then like this with the straight, that's a bit better. It's uh, sometimes it's just the way the, the angles kind of come together in the corners that are a little bit disconcerting. They, they grab the eye and they're not very pleasant and I don't like to leave them like that if I can avoid it because I know I'm going to have to come back and fix it later. So that's better. That kind of frees up this area here and turns it, merges it with the open space over here so that now we can get back to the placing of the shenanigan. Uh, that's right. And that's the guy. And we'll place it. That's commercial. Let's place it right here. So we've got a little bit distance between the outer ridge and the uh, the highway here, even it, even though the highway does have the sound barriers, the residential folks, they, just, they really don't like it. And then down here, you can see, I arranged these with the goal of getting the most use possible out of the space that we had. Understanding that by choosing to make it a circle, we were going to use uh, some space and be forced to leave some space vacant. But this is a little bit of a trade-off in the name of aesthetics, but the core of it is as dense as I could possibly get it. And now all we have to do is put in all of the things that we need to make uh, any part of a city happy. So we've got police, we've got fire, we've got uh, incinerator for garbage, we have a crematorium for people. <laughs> I wonder, can I fit this somewhere else? Uh, not, no, it's three blocks wide, which is just ever so wonky. All right, we'll place it there. Uh, we'll place a medical clinic here. Uh, before we get too carried away, we're going to industrial, 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 industrial. 
and then we're gonna go. Oh, we need uh, a different tool for this, I think. Commercial. Commercial. See, what I'm trying to do is use the commercial as a, a buffer of sorts between the pollution of the industrial and the peace-loving, quiet, loving, non-pollution people in the residential areas. But I don't want to zone these entire uh, segments as commercial because I think that would just be way too much. So we're just going to try and be a little bit cautious about what we're zoning and where. So that's power, water, garbage, medical, blah blah blah. We need an elementary school and that's all they get is an elementary school. Uh, we don't want to put it in the industrial area. We'll put it We'll find a spot where it'll fit around here, like so. And lastly, I, I'm not going to worry about placing buses because if I were to place buses, I think I would have to place a whole bus depot so that there could be buses put on the road to, to make the whole thing work. And I just, I don't want to do that. What the hell's going on here? This road is somehow disconnected. Notice that? What, what craziness is this? What a bunch of nonsense. Liars. All of them. Snapping, turn on. And that'll do. Weird. Every once in a while it does that. A road will disconnect or a zone will de-zone or switch zoning to something else. And all you can do is hope that you catch it when it happens. Or, uh, or you, you miss out. There we go. So, the metro train station cargo train terminal, we're going to have uh, I think just in terms of uh, if <laughs> do you see this? It transferred all the bus loops from this area up here that I already bulldozed, that we bulldozed just a few minutes ago, and it put them into our town. <laughs> Alright, so, minor hiccup here with the train depot in that it produces a lot of noise pollution and it's going to have to be quite a ways outside of the district in order to be able to do what I want it to do. Uh, without disrupting the residential area. So it's not that big of a deal because we can still keep everything isolated and that's the principal goal here. So what, what we can do is uh, we're gonna use the sound barrier highways and we're actually gonna come right out here and then we're gonna transition to a there we go. And then just to make sure that everything fits before we move on and connect everything else up, we'll go like this. It's pretty close. Not bad. Now, one of the things that we can do, potentially, we'll see how it goes, is send multiple districts, the isolated districts, to this single train station and try and make up for the, the lost space that way. Uh, otherwise, we might have to do some rethinking of the layout for these. But this is basically a test run. This is the first time that I've used this design. So if it, if it doesn't work perfectly the first time, I'm not exactly going to be uh, unhappy with myself over it. It's just the way things go sometimes. Do I want to just kind of bring it straight back in that way? I, I feel like no, I don't. <laughs> I feel like I want to connect it to this intersection here, even though this doesn't create an intersection with the connection. Let's just see. Let's try and bring it down straight back into town. Uh, snapping is on, but it's not doing a very good job. And like so. A little too close. Is that? And like so. 
did that create? Yeah, it created traffic lights. Uh, that's okay, because it's still, we only want a one-way connection leaving the train station. All right, let's, uh, let's fire it up and we'll keep an eye on the power. We'll make sure things get power as we go. Obviously, these guys aren't getting any power just yet, but you can see the demand transfers over. There's still the demand for the residential, the commercial, the industrial, everything that people want, they're still crying out for. Now, we have to be very, very careful that they don't immediately dezone because we haven't provided them with power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause it very briefly and uh, extend space already occupied. You shut up. It is not. We can make this fit. There we go. And also every once in a while when you go to connect power lines, they uh, disconnect <laughs> backside. Sons of bitches. Why? There we go. There we go. And that connects basically the entire district. So we can go like that and like that. I want to get the power lines out of the way before people zone around them and then you end up with wonky zones because there's uh, a gap where the line was. Let's get out of this view. We can see things are kind of uh, coming together. The demand for everything is quite low. It looks like they're not having too much difficulty finding workers for the industrial areas. We're actually getting level ups in the industrial areas. I mean, you can see people are eager to get building and stuff. You really know you've got traction here when you start to see vehicles. That's one thing that you'll notice because we don't have any connections to the outside. Uh, there's no vehicles. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's our first couple of little cars driving around this guy. He's, uh, oh, this train station has no water or power. Whoops. That's fine. Uh, what we can do is water is easy water is we barely have to move anything to get this to go and then like this he's got water now and power for the time being while this isn't zoned we can just go like that hopefully is that close enough yeah it's saying it's got power perfect so a little bit of issue not having enough workers Nothing major just yet. All kinds of upgrades going on. Lots and lots of places with not enough workers. So this is actually probably going to prompt a demand for residential growth to produce the workers that people are looking for because this is industrial. They don't need it much by way of education. Uh, we've got the preschool. <laughs> that should be taking care of everything. But you never know. You never know. It could just be one of those things where... Uh, the, the, the scaling is a little bit wonky and nothing wants to work. It's saying it wants more commercial. More commercial. What a, what a bunch of guys. Oh, we got brownouts. So, what we can do is... See, this is why I love the solar power plants. You can just kind of come on in here. They're a little bit tricky to place. There we go. Bye-bye brownouts. That solves that problem. So the workers issue, you can see it's it's spread. It's just got worse and worse and worse. But I think if we just leave it, let everything settle down, that it'll kind of correct itself without too much input from us. And like I say, we've got the entire outer ridge of this circle where we can uh, zone more residential and or commercial if we need it. But I wanted to keep this area in here kind of isolated just because of the pollution. Really, is all we're worried about is the pollution extending into the residential areas and then people being unhappy and complaining. So we're going to keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't spread too far. In the next episode, we'll take a look at what has happened after letting the game run for a little while at high speed. 
to see whether things settled uh, on their own or if we need to take a more active approach at correcting things before they go too far. So if you want to be notified when I add that episode, the easiest way to do that is always to subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media for notifications. Links for social media in the information box below the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.